everyone and welcome to Tutoring with Tori. In this video, I wanted to give you 10 successful tips to be a successful realtor. I want to tell you guys, in my experience and speaking with so many other licensed realtors as well, these are the 10 consistent qualities that you need to be able to manage being a realtor, being an entrepreneur, running your own business and staying in it for the long run. They say about, I think it's about 70% of realtors who actually get licensed don't continue with their license after two years. So if you wanna stay for it in the long run, here's some things to look out for. Tip number one, staying organized. As a realtor, you really have to find your flow and what works for you. You literally have to budget time to organize things or have the money to hire someone to do it for you. Things like just, just, just your daily calendar, you literally need to find a way where you can remember to add in appointments because if you get calls from clients and say, yeah, we'll meet there, or you're networking with another vendor, you say, yeah, we'll talk later, you will forget about it. So you have to get into the habit of marking things down in your calendar right away as those things come up so you can plan accordingly for your week and the weeks ahead. Another successful tip you'll need is multitasking. You would be surprised the amount of things that will just be thrown at you every which, every which way. Sometimes you'll be at a showing, then you'll get a call from another client. You have to ask this client to hold while you speak to this client. Sometimes you'll be in an offer presentation waiting to hear back from the other listing realtor. And then you'll get a call from the lender saying that this came up or they need this or this. You, it just is endless. So you just have to be prepared. And uh, when multiple things come your way, stay calm and just be able to manage multiple things at once. Next, you need to be flexible. Being a realtor, you're really not going on your own time. The great thing about real estate is you get to choose how you want your business to be. So you can definitely set boundaries as to times when clients will call you, times when you'll respond to emails, times when you'll go outside your home and do showings like that. You definitely get to choose that. However, I find that in the beginning, because you're so eager and you're looking for business, a lot of those boundaries will waver. So you definitely need to be flexible and be able to work on clients' time, especially if you're a realtor full-time. Clients looking for a home are not looking for a home full-time. They typically have their full-time job to attend to, and then in between we'll do showings with you. So you have to be flexible in that way. Another successful tip, number four you'll need is marketing. It's sad to say, but marketing is like almost a requirement. It's a standard in, in, in this day and age. Using different social media platforms is basically like your resume. Now, don't get me wrong. Some realtors don't use social media at all, and that's perfectly fine. You get to choose what kind of realtor you want to be and where you want to get your business from. I find a lot of seasoned realtors will be getting business strictly from referrals. Although that is a great place to be, most people don't start off that way. So starting off in the beginning, definitely social media is somewhere you're gonna to need to be. You don't have to be posting one post or three posts every single day, but manage it so you can stay consistent. A cheat way I kind of tell some people who just dread social media is for instance, Instagram. If you, don't, if you can't even commit to posting once a week, what I say is once a month, Go on Instagram, post nine photos all at one time so you're over and done with, and month by month you will build up a lot of content just so that when people search your name on Google or on Instagram or whatever platform, they can see that you are legitimate, that you are doing business, and they will get a sense of your personality and want to work with you more. Tip number five, budgeting. This is a big one, especially in the beginning. You know, going through the Humber courses, paying $4,000, getting your real estate license, paying another $3,000, and then now having the opportunity to, opportunity to make money, it all adds up. So you definitely want to be able to budget ahead of time. I have a YouTube video on what my monthly budget looks like. You can definitely check that out. But in general, start to research what kind of expenses you will have ongoingly for your real estate business and what you'll have for your personal life and see what is a priority in the beginning and what things you can do without and go from there. Successful tip number six is being an entrepreneur. You are an entrepreneur. You are running your own business. You are the CEO of your company. Even though you do have your license under a brokerage and they will, should be there to assist you, 
they're not going to be holding your hand saying, okay, you're going to call this client today. You're going to call this client tomorrow. You're going to call this, send this email. You have to decide how much work you put into it. I always tell people your business is as much as you are. So the times that you're putting in that work, you're calling out clients, you're prospecting and making money. That's great. But when you take a break, so does your income. So just be aware of that as running your own business, filing your own taxes, keeping track of your own expenses, which goes into the next one, priorities. So tip number seven is having priorities. So again, as a realtor, you get to choose your own business, but there's going to be a lot of times where you need to prioritize certain clients or prioritize certain tasks or prioritize just building up your business. So there's some clients who will want you to go on house tours with them three times a day, four days a week, and it's a lot of time consuming, but you're not putting in any offers and then all of a sudden they just disappear and you don't hear from them. There's certain tactics that you'll learn in the beginning in order to qualify these people to see who you want to spend your time on and who you don't. If anything, you always have the choice to refer things out. But again, prioritizing clients, prioritizing tasks is going to be a big field. Successful tip number eight, motivation. To be honest, being a realtor can be a very depressing job. There's a lot of highs, there's a lot of lows, there's times when you're doing deals, you're meeting clients, you're making offers, you're getting your paychecks, and then there's slow seasons where you're wondering like, am I ever going to make another commission? And where's my next client gonna come from? How am I gonna pay my bills? So being a realtor, again, you're running your own business. You really have to be comfortable with being able to motivate yourself or putting yourself in positions to be motivated. So finding out what even motivates you, what are you attracted to, what are you passionate about, and keeping those things good, very close and keeping that atmosphere around. Successful tip number nine. This is, I would say, the most important one.